Christophe de Magri, Chairman and CEO of Total, thank you for being with us. You've just been talking, taking part in a discussion on the Arab Spring or the Arab Awakening. But let me start with a slightly different question. Um, how do you see the oil market? We have very fragile economies at the moment in Europe and in the States. How do you see the oil market developing, not least because of the impact of the Arab Spring? Well, if it's not done on purpose, it's a brilliant introduction. Because I mean, there is by definition a link between the Arab Spring and the oil price. Even if we, we don't like it to present it like this, because I mean it's better, to, and it's true because it's not only a problem of oil, but it's true that what happened in Libya, in Syria, and in all the area is, is uh, not the only reason for high prices for crude and gas, but at the same time, by definition, it has, it has a link. And the link is instability, difficulty to predict the future, and definitely the risk of having other countries to be spoiled, spoiled not in terms of taking a position of is it good or not, but spoiled in terms of security, of supply, of energy, and especially talking about the Middle East where more than 50% of the oil reserves are in terms of access to oil. So today the price of oil is not high because of the Arab Spring, it's high because of a potential strong demand coming from emerging countries and even if uh, for the time being the economy being weak to say the least in Europe, weak in the States and a little bit less stronger probably in emerging countries, and people have the feeling that normally the price of oil should drop but the fundamentals are not changed. Fundamentals are in the long run 1.5 billion inhabitants today have no access to electricity, no access to energy. This number is increasing. Those people, they will not wait a recovery of the economy to want to have access to this energy like others. And that's why, I mean, we don't see really the demand for oil and gas declining, even if it should, if you were just looking at it with, uh, I would say, European or American uh, eyes. So, first reason, fundamentals. Second reason, oil is more and more an instrument which is used by financiers like gold. So it's moving with other reasons than offer and demand. And third, instability in the Arab world, to take the same word for the Arab Spring. A rather gloomy prospect. No, no, it's not gloomy. It's, it's not gloomy. What, what, what the risk is, is to have a weak economies and a high price of energy. And that's not good. So a final question then. If you were OPEC, what would your pricing policy be? Well, OPEC, they're, they're, they have two messages to deliver, which are delivering. First, don't worry. There will be always sufficient oil to supply the demand and uh, whatever happens, we can do it. They need to prove that people can trust in this and, and the trust will be Saudi Arabia. Second, second point is OPEC saying this can prove it in showing that they still keep a large portion of their capacities unused. And today, even if we see this extra capacities reducing, there are still extra capacities. So today, nobody is lacking of oil. So if OPEC will decide to increase their quotas, it will be purely psychology, because nobody is lacking of oil. Right. Nobody. Uh, there is no... Nobody is lacking of oil. It, there was the same example in 2008, which is just yesterday. 2008, the price of oil went to $158 per barrel. 148. 48, yeah. 48. Went a little bit above, but 48. Today we are at 110, so far lower. Mm -hmm. At that time, uh, nobody said that the economy was ruined because of oil. They should, because I mean that was definitely too high, too quickly, and too high. 
that was not a problem of supply. Everybody criticized Saudi Arabia and they were very upset because I mean they were told all of this is your fault, you don't, you don't deliver sufficient oil. They organized a, a big uh, conference, I think it was in uh, Jeddah or Riyadh, with, with the king, King Abdullah, with Ali Naimi, the oil minister, and they made it very clear in front of everybody. There was state representatives, oil companies, journalists, all stakeholders. And they said, you want more oil? We will increase this day our production by one million. But I'm not sure we can do it because to deliver, we need, we need, we need a demand, we need a client. They never could do it. So the proof was there, but they had to prove it. It's funny, people, they say the price of oil goes high it's because of Saudi Arabia or OPEC. No. Christophe Magri, thank you very much indeed for those insights. Thank My you. pleasure. Thank you.